In this video, we're going to look at how to split and trim clips down to the best part using a smartphone. In this series of video tutorials, we'll be looking at a super editor for smartphones called PowerDirector. PowerDirector is available for iOS or Apple devices as well as Android devices. My name is Dean Parman, you're watching Travel Vidstar TV, and this is how to split and trim in PowerDirector. There are two ways to make a clip shorter in PowerDirector. They are, as I've mentioned, trimming and splitting. Let's start with trimming. Trimming is the most commonly used method of making a video clip shorter. It simply means to take off from the front and the back of your clip. In the PowerDirector app, tap on the clip to highlight it. Once the clip is highlighted, little handlebars will appear at the start and at the end. You can now slide these handlebars to trim the clip to its best part. There's not really much more to it, but how do you decide on how long a clip should be? More often than not, the music has something to do with it. Music sets a mood. Happy, upbeat music tends to allow for shorter clips and sad, slow music lends itself to longer clips. More about beat editing in another tutorial. Let's move on to the split function. Split means, as the name suggests, to split something at a point, breaking it in two. The split will happen at the point of the video playhead. What's a video playhead? It's the line at which the video can be seen in the preview window. Once a clip is highlighted, you will see this option down in the bottom corner for a sub-menu. Select it and you will see a range of options. The split tool is the first in the menu. Line up the playhead and hit it. Wherever the playhead was has now divided the clip at this point. The split tool is a great way to get the best view and control of the exact moment you want to stop the clip. Trimming can be a little bit more messy, where a split is exactly on the mark. One of the main reasons for wanting to use the split tool over the trim tool is when you have really long clips. Instead of scrolling all the way to the back, grabbing the handle and dragging it all the way to the front, just make a split somewhere and delete the back section. This is even more important if you want to cut two short little pieces out of a long clip. Let's have a look at an example of how that would work. We have this really long clip that I would like to keep two sections of. First, I'll split the clip at the start and at the end of the piece I want to keep. Then, I'm going to repeat this further down the line on the same clip. I'll delete the unwanted sections. Trim the remaining clips down to their best part and then reposition the one that doesn't belong here. Making the split tool easier to find. As I mentioned earlier, there is a double step required to get to the split tool. You can make this faster if you want. Go back to your home menu and go all the way to the bottom and select the settings button. Look for the option called open the tool menu when selecting an object in the timeline and toggle on. If we go back to our project and now tap on a clip, the sub-menu will show right away, giving you direct access to the split function. Have you got any more questions about splitting and trimming in PowerDirector? Well, if you do, let us know in the comments below. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful, and if you would like to see more, make sure to subscribe to this channel and also to check out the full A to Z video editing tutorials in both PowerDirector, Splice, iMovie, and a whole bunch of other apps available on our website. There is a link in the description below. My name is Dean, and I will see you in the next tutorial.